Hey guys, this is Travis Bayless with Bayless Piano Service. So maybe three or four weeks ago, we had a piano tuner install the dam chaser. From what we know right now is that there's a power area, a water area, and a pad area. So the problem that we've been having is that the water light, which I assume is yellow, shows up and we end up filling that with like right now it's been distilled water but every so often the pad light would show up now i've been on the the bcg website and i've been asking what could be the problem i know i'm very new to the game i say that i have my own service but right now i'm asking for professionals that have been in the game and maybe this certified to install dam chases to actually Tell me what may be wrong. For right now, what we done is that I've been told to buy some chemicals to put into the gallon or so water treatment. This is water treatment, and I guess it's supposed to help with the um the electrolytes or the electrolysis or whatever, and would prevent the pad light from showing. The problem right now is it's off right now, but every so often the pad light does show up. So right now, I'm going to do the first troubleshooting, which I've been told to start with. There's a lot of things people have been telling me, but I actually have no idea exactly what's been going on. I've only been told that if the water light shows up, put in water into that jug right there, and that water light should show up. And he said, if the pad light shows up, just come and talk to me or notify me. And I know since it's been only three or four weeks, there has to be an issue. So right now what I'm going to do is take this pad treatment from Piano Lifesaver Systems from Damp Chaser. This was bought at Piano Tech and put that into the this container. So I don't know if Kyle's going to be able to get back here, but... Right now, from what I'm going to do is there's a line, this red line. I'm going to fill that up with distilled water. I don't know if there's instruction for this. I haven't really looked at it. But... It says add one capful of pad treatment to each watering can filled to the red line. So I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna fill this cap full. And there's this tube right here. I don't know if you guys can see this. This tube. Whoops. There's already water in it, so I have to be careful here. I'm not quite sure if the water is full. I'm not quite sure why it shows that it's running out of water, but I'm just going to fill it up. So I put that in there. I tip it. Oops. Tip it. Fill that up. Now, once this is filled, yellow light water should actually turn off. And I don't know, can you see if the, the yellow light has been turned off? Yep, yellow light's off, along with, there's no, the pads seem fine but I too. want Kyle to get in here because a lot of people have been telling me that 
This could have been installed wrong. I don't know if Kyle's going to get be able to get back in you here. need the light, though. But as you can see here, the damp chase is right here. And this tube goes into this water treatment filter or this box or a container and the pads right here I assume and it's pretty damp it feels pretty it feels warm and there's wire a white wire that connects in the back and then there's a this white wire I don't know if you can see it there you should grab the camera So there's this white wire that connects to the container. You can see the pad in there. And I'm just showing this to maybe people can figure out why that red light's showing up. You can see the tube goes into there. And here is the, it's plugged in. And I really can't tell exactly what else the is wrong there. with it. I guess. The bar's hot. The bar over there is hot. And you should tell them that when we first installed, we didn't even realize that. Originally, we didn't even realize that our humidifier or humidistat was missing anything. And actually, it looks like there's two bars. Did you know that? So, this is the first step to troubleshoot the problem with the red light showing up. I can't really... You can't really see the whole structure in there, and all I see is a white wire, an electrical outlet wire, and then the blue pad, and of course the container. Kyle over there can see the 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 iron rod. There's two of them. There's two iron rods, and I don't know what else I could be doing to troubleshoot this. I haven't really looked at my comments on the PTG website, but I know. People have been trying to help me out here. I don't know. I've tried to reach out to the piano tuner who installed this, but he hasn't really got back to us. He just thought that the treatment. the treatment would fix it. So I'm hoping this will fix it. Anyways, this is Travis Bayless with Bayless Piano Service. Please, please like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the bell button if you want to see future videos. I have a support playlist, and this is going to be the first video. Since I'm really new to the game, I'm hoping that I can get some professional advice. And I'm really looking to become a piano tuner. So talk about the education of this. So according to this, from what I know, for those that are new to the, the game of, of having an installation of a damp chaser, this is like a Humida stat that controls the humidity in... I assume the soundboard of the piano, since wood contracts and expands with heat and cold, this can affect the playing ability of the piano, especially with pitch. And we're hoping that this will stabilize since it does get pretty humid here and really dry in the winter. And you need a license. So for people that want to install this, it does require a license. The piano tuner who did install this did complete the license, and I'm assuming that it just needs water treatment. So that's it of the video. I hope you guys learned something. Please like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell button for future videos. Thank you.